in the earliest cities the story of harappa engineers stumbled upon the site of harappa in present day pakistan about 150 years ago when railway lines were being laid down engineers found it as a rich source of high quality bricks and used it to build railway lines archaeologists later realized that this was the city of harappa one of the oldest cities in the subcontinent that developed 4007 years ago what was special about these cities these cities were divided into two parts western part which was smaller and higher called citadel and eastern part which was larger and lower these parts had walls of high quality bricks built around them and have lasted thousand of years cities like mohenjodaro had a special tank which archaeologists called the great bath built on the citadel this tank was lined with bricks coated with plaster and a layer of natural tar to make it watertight there were steps on two sides and rooms on all sides this tank was filled with water from a well which was drained after use people took a dip in this tank on special occasions fire altars where sacrifices were performed have been found in cities like kalibangan and lothal while cities like mohenjodaro and harappa had stone houses houses drains and streets houses were one or two stories high with rooms built around a courtyard these houses also had a bathing area and wells to supply water Many cities had well planned drainage system which was laid out in straight lines and had a gentle slope to enable water flow drains in the houses were connected to the ones on the street and smaller ones led to bigger ones inspection holes were provided in these drains at intervals for cleaning life in the city Special buildings were constructed by the rulers in the Harappan city which was a very busy place people were sent out to distant lands to get metal precious stones and other items which the rulers wanted scribes were people who knew how to write and were responsible for preparing seals and writing on other materials craftspersons were responsible for making all kinds of things at their homes or their workshops terracotta toys have been found which points to the fact that children must have played with these a long time ago new crafts in the city most of the objects found by archaeologists in harappan cities were made of stone shell and metal which included copper bronze gold and silver copper and bronze were used to make tools weapons and ornaments while gold and silver were used to make ornaments and vessels beads weights and blades were other notable findings the harappan seals were made out of stone were rectangular in shape and had an animal carved on them the pots found were made beautiful with black designs cotton was grown and spun at mehergarh about 7000 years ago Archaeologists have found actual pieces of cloth at Mohenjo-daro and spindle whorls made of terracotta and faience which were used to spin thread faience faience is a substance that is artificially produced sand or powdered quartz was given shape of an object by the use of a gum the resulting objects were shiny with a glossy surface beads bangles earrings and tiny vessels were made from faience raw materials are substances that are found naturally or produced by people and then processed to make finished goods